Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we continue looking in Function Editor. So let's create just any object. We'll just go to Edit Function. Okay. And inside our Function Editor, we'll just create a um, fractal node. So if you remember before we stopped on a noise node, the fractal node, it's uh, provide a little bit more flexibility and more interesting effect to us. And we'll start with the top one, basic repeater. And one nice interesting thing about basic repeater, even it's fractal node, but it's what we call degenerated. So in normal fractal, you have the infinite of details, like on terrain when you start zooming. Here you actually will notice degenerating less and less details the closer you're getting. And um, this is a base repeater was left for the compatibility with older version of the view, but I think you still have the sometimes very interesting effect. So and let's look at the base base settings. It's a similar what we have before with a noise, what is based on wavelength, same like a noise and origin. Harmonic behavior, what is actually does repeat it, it is how many times the base will repeat it. Uh, to produce the uh, final effect and to more you actually have it numbered the better better effect will be but of course it's come with a price the longer render time and uh, the best way to preview actual this repeat so let's go right here we'll select um, let's set preview option to 2d so we can preview better and change this one to line parent so we can preview better and we'll send also to the blend and you will notice how it's kind of growing to add more and more to blending, blending in okay also to best for the preview let's reduce a little bit scale okay we enable with the rotation so what it does it will replicate them and add rotation to each time and now you can notice how less or more details or more times is repeating will happen. Of course, if you need more than five, you can go just in and type it and increase. And you can notice how the scale increase, decrease of the after repeating with each repeat is what steps of the increasing. Okay. Okay. And our amplitude, it's control how amplitude will it apply to our noise um, node between each duration. And you can see how some interesting effect, maybe like spider web or other things you can create with this. Okay, all what we need to do, go to our filter, increase a little bit contrast. And here we have something look like maybe spider web or other things you can use it. Okay. And how I say even it was keep it in design for capability with older version, but I think it still have it sometimes very interesting use. Uh, filtering. This filtering is the same what if we create different by filter node. Only this one is kind of built in in same filter. In same node and also the settings is when you copy this node it will copy your filter settings instead if you put it your settings here it's one copy so just keep this in mind this is all kind of um, bind together okay also on a um, combination node it's exactly the same as in another um, section so what do we have it this one add is normally just add values um, on a blend, the values is actually average it together. On the uh, okay, so the um, variable roughness, it's um, value added and depend on the result of the first durations. This one is similar to first, except um, the distance to like 0 0.5 it considers instead. And um, this is a biggest value is retained on this one and uh, the similar to abs right before minimum is the smallest value retained um abs is the closest to zero five retained so it's a little bit averaging and multiply the 
of course, all values are multiplied together. Right? And uh, the best way to understand them, again, it is just a play. Just go select them and see what is the result they will provide. That will probably be the best way to learn. Okay, so basic repeater, it's very interesting. Let's look on a simple fractal now. And simple fractal, it is actually simplest time of the fractal we can have it. And um, they define mostly by the what noise node we're using. Example, let's go to per noise value. And uh, and we look on the, these settings. There's similar base settings what you, when you select your um, different type of the parent, your largest feature, smallest feature, rightness and gain. It's very, very similar to noise node. Okay. Next, uh, fast permanent fractal. It is very optimized, actually, very um, of the simple fractal node. And it's based on um, value pearl and noise. So you can see you don't kind of have a selection what noise it's based. And overall, this is actually very good general use fractal. So if you want with less settings, but you want great result, this is probably one of the nice to select more universal type of the fractal. Okay, and next is the variable reference fractal. And this is based on a basic uh, on a simple fractal what we had before only oops let me go back only a couple things what we have it it's a variable of roughness and that's what's actually due to her it is um, we can select the smooth level okay let me click and select maybe something so we can preview better okay let's preset a couple of things this way our observer okay so what's happening here we have our smooth lab levels and um, it's allowed the transition for the minimum uh, roughness of this fractal the influence is actually interesting one this is control of the influence altitude on the roughness of the Fractal. So when we start using for the terrain, influence will be quite a bit in use for us. Okay, and um, of course if it's set to zero, not good one, this will um, affect as a simple fractal. Uh, local influence, it will going creating the, the local smoothness on altitude, and it's set based on a zero and um, if it's set to one example we go up to all the way here the it's a result to those patches on an altitude which it will smooth out and again with two of those ones it's hard to preview right now um, maybe we should create a terrain let's go to terrain and just create one create terrain so we can preview a little bit better we'll just create fractal terrain to edit object we'll just go edit altitude switch this one to variable roughness fractal so actually um it's a similar to the um simple fractal what we have it before the only way